Hi there, today we are looking at solving quadratic equations by factorising. Now if you've looked at quadratic expressions and factorising quadratic expressions, then it is that skill that you need to be able to solve quadratics, essentially. Right, so to solve quadratic, it's got to take this particular format. It's got to take ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's got some, some value of x squared, um, some value of x, and then a number. All right, it has to take that format. And there's only one special case where this is, is, is not the case. And that is something called a difference of two squares. So if you haven't looked at that one, then please look at that particular one. But in general, this tends to be one that kind of comes in play. All right. So what that means, essentially, because you've got something x squared, something x, and then a number, is that it means to go into what we call a double bracket. Okay. So once you've factorized it into that double bracket, then we look to see which of those brackets make it equal to zero, if not both. And that's going to give our two solutions. All right. So let's go through an example so you can see. So if you've already done factorising um, a quadratic, all right, or putting these into double brackets, then you'll know what to do. All right. So what I'm looking for, first of all, I look at the x squared, and that's going to determine what goes into the brackets. All right, that's going to be an x and an x. Then I'm looking for two numbers at times to give you to give you plus four that are going to add to give you plus five. All right. So this actually it's going to be plus four and plus one. All right. You can check that. So four times one is four, and four x and one x gives you five x. All right. So that's the first step. And that is literally uh, factorizing a quadratic all right so there is another lesson on that one if you need to practice on that one okay so the next step is then from here determine what the value of x would be so what we're looking we consider that either this bracket or this bracket is equal to zero and why is because anything times zero is zero so either this bracket is equal zero or this bracket equals zero so i've got potentially two solutions all right two solutions to this so let's consider first x plus 4 is equal to 0. So let's write that one. And then a bit of rearranging. So we say, um, oh, and actually the one to the second one first. So also that one equals 0. So that one or that one equals 0. But what I was about to say is rearrange this one. So x equals minus 4, taking that across. Then rearrange this one. So x is equal to minus 1, all right, by taking that one across there. So there are your two solutions. And if you were to substitute minus 4 into this, it would equal 0. If you substitute minus 1 into this, it would equal 0. All right. And, you know, that's a one way of checking it. Um, if you are going to do that, though, however, make sure you put a minus 1 in a bracket when you square it. All right. Just to make sure that that works perfectly. All right. So that's the first one. Um, this is relatively straightforward because the two positives. But the second step, obviously, you need to consider if it's a minus and what that does. Um, all right. So if we've got minus at the end and we've got a plus there, then I'm going to have two negatives. Um, or sort of one negative and one positive. Um, because it, it has to be different, so give it a negative. Um, I've obviously got the x squared, that's going to give you an x and an x, so I've got plus 3x there, and then minus x over there, that's going to give me 2x overall. All right, so that's it um, factorised. And again, if you're not quite sure about factorising, then please look at the lesson on factorising quadratics before we get to this bit. All right, so we've done this bit, first bit already, so we've got x plus 3 equals 0. The second one, is x minus 1 is equal to 0, so it's still the same process, but obviously you've got minus 1 involved. And then from here, well, what's going to give me 0? Well, it's, the, it's minus 3, it's always opposite what's in the bracket, to be honest. So minus 3, there. And then over here, I've got x minus 1, so x is going to be, when I take minus 1 across, it's going to give you 1. Alright, so there are your two solutions to solving quadratics, um, by, by factorising, I should say. All right, so there is another lesson, part two on this, um, where the value of a, again, this is not in this one, where because the value of a is one, where the value of a is more than one. All right, so please look at that one because it's a little bit more complicated in terms of what you need to do. All right, but for this lesson, uh, you know, please do go to math-school.co.uk and get some practice on, on, I suppose, arguably, both factorising and solving quadratics. All right, thanks for listening.